The wiki will be found in the Add an Activity menu because it's an interactive activity. Your participants will be actively participating in the building of a collaborative document. Click Wiki to begin. On the settings page for a new wiki, let's talk about some of these options. First, give your wiki a name. I'm working with a poetry example, where students will collaboratively add poems that they enjoy. In the summary area, describe not only the prompt for the wiki, but also navigational help. The wiki will be new to many of your students. For example, For many of you, if you've never seen a wiki before in Moodle, you won't know exactly what navigation hints to put in. Come back to this later and revise them so that you can help a new user. Let's take a look at the settings at the bottom. First, the type of the wiki is very important. Let's open the help window built into Moodle to learn about types. There are three wiki types, teacher, groups, and student. In addition, like any activity, the wiki has Moodle group modes, such as no groups, separate groups, and visible groups. This leads to the following matrix of nine possibilities. You can feel free to look at this matrix on your own, but let's talk a little bit about what these mean. For the teacher wiki in general, there's only one wiki that the teacher edits. It's read-only for the students. For a group wiki, many students are working on the same page together. For a student wiki, every student has their own wiki that only they and their teacher can edit. This might be useful for something like a student portfolio. Unless an additional group mode, such as visible or separate, has been imposed, the wiki will function as it says in this first column, like I just described. Remember, if you forget this, you can always click on the blue question mark to learn about types again. For this wiki, because our students are collaboratively editing the document together and should be able to see each other's poetry, I'd like to leave the setting at Groups. Do I want to print the wiki name on every page? I'm going to switch this to No. Sometimes I can find that setting to, as turned on to Yes can be confusing to new users. HTML mode. I can decide whether or not HTML is enabled on each page, allowing users to format text, add images, etc. Allowing binary files. This will create an attachments tab across the top of my wiki, letting users upload documents. I'd like to say yes to this so that if a student decides to upload a Word document or a PDF with a poem, they can. Wiki auto-linking options. You'll see linking in, in function later when we work in our actual wiki. If for this brief tutorial, I'd like to just check off that we're going to disable camel case linking. I'll explain what camel case is in just a little bit. Student administrator options allow your students to manage the wiki at the level that you might as the teacher. They can strip the pages of content, remove entire pages, set page flags, or revert mass changes. You'll learn what these things are. The optional area is where you can define an initial page and a page name. I leave this blank. Now before I click Save, and I'm going to skip over the common module settings that most of us are familiar with, such as grouping and visibility, before I click Save, I want to stress that a wiki is not able to be edited as far as the name and the initial page after it is saved. If you decide that you've called your wiki something that you'd want to change, or you've defined an initial page or a page name that you don't like, you won't be able to change them after you've saved your wiki. You'll need to create a new wiki. Make sure you get it right, or you'll have to live with it until your students are done with the assignment. Let's click Save and Display to see what we get. When we click Save and Display, we're taken to the visual uh, interface for the wiki. The description that we typed is listed here. I can see that it's pretty tiny amongst all these other menus and tabs, so I know that when I go back in to edit my description, I want to make that bigger. I'm going to change the font size. At the bottom of the page, we see tabs across the top, including View, Edit, just like we instructed our students to use when they're ready to begin, Links, a History, and the attachments link. The attachments link will only appear if in the settings you enable binary files, as we discussed. In the view mode, because nothing has been added yet to the wiki, we're automatically in editing mode as well. As soon as I add a poem and save the wiki, 
I am thanked for my contribution, and the contribution that I made is listed there. That's in view mode. If I switch back to edit mode, I can edit my contribution. This is how your students will work on the wiki. You can see at the bottom of the edit page, there is an attachments field for browsing and uploading an additional file. In the links area, we can find where the page is linked to or two other pages that this page travels. Creating links in a wiki is simple. Let me head back to the edit page to show you how. If I want to create a separate link in a wiki page, I use simple symbols to tell the wiki inside of Moodle to turn this word into another link. For example, I might type The Road Less Traveled by Robert Frost. If I don't want to paste that into this first page of the wiki, but instead create a hyperlink to a separate page, what I would do is put these words in square brackets. The square bracket key can be found just under the delete key and to the left. Both of those square brackets enclosing any word inside of Moodle is the trick for creating a se separate hyperlink. Now, earlier in the settings page, we talked about camel case linking, and we disabled it. Camel case linking looks like this. You can see that I've left no spaces between my words and I've capitalized letters. We call this camel case because when you type out camel case, you get sort of a little hump in the middle, almost like a camel. Helps you remember what that means. If I do this with camel case linking enabled, this will turn into a separate page. Usually I turn that off because if a student mistypes, forgets a space bar, or enters something like an email address like my name at moodle.org, that will turn into a separate hyperlink. That's not what I want. I disable camel case linking and I let my students know to use the square brackets. Ah, but there's a navigational hint. If I want them to be able to create links, I have to put the square bracket information in my description. I'll go back and do that later. If I'm ready to save my page, I'll click Save. My contribution, The Road Less Traveled by Robert Frost, becomes a hyperlink. Now the link isn't quite ready yet. You can see that there's a small question mark at the end of the link. This is what we call a stub. You'll often find stubs out on Wikipedia, which are articles that haven't been written yet. When I'm ready to write on this page, I click the question mark. And I can head into the blank page called The Road Less Traveled by Robert Frost, where I can paste in his poem. and save. On any subpages in your wiki, you will see referring links. The referring link is the main page of the wiki, our poetry wiki. I can get back to our poetry wiki by clicking there. I can get to the road less traveled by clicking again. You can see the link is no longer a stub, but a bona fide link with the underline and the different color. Our wiki is ready to be worked on by students. So I've got to get it ready for them. I want to head back to our poetry wiki and then click update this wiki to change my description. There were two things I wanted to do. Increase the size and also add information about linking. That's all I'll need and my students can read that and make progress. Notice the page name has now changed to Our Poetry Wiki and I can't change it. Remember, if you don't name your wiki appropriately, you're going to have to live with it until students are done the assignment or create a new one. When I save and display my changes, my description's nice and big and I've created enough navigation for them to use the wiki to its full potential.